Hello class, this is a video lecture of the um, chapter 9 in the business mathematics text titled Markup and Markdown. There's two learning outcomes in section 9-1. Find the cost, markup, or selling price when any two of the three are known. Find the cost, markup, and selling price, or percent of markup when the percent of markup is based on the cost. So uh, finding the cost, markup, or selling price when any of the two or the three are known, here you have a, a basic formula, cost plus the markup equals the selling price. The markup equals the selling price minus the cost, and the cost equals the selling price minus the markup. If an item sells for $20 and has a markup of $12, what's the cost of the item? So we know it's $22. Oh, pardon. If an item sells for $20 and has a markup of $12, what's the cost of the item? $8. Uh, what is the... Well, actually, that's, that's incorrect um, now, now that I look at it again. Um, the markup was twelve dollars, so then um, the the markup is given added to the twenty, so it should be thirty two. But um, I guess what they had meant to say here is um, that the, if if it's twelve and the markup is eight, then the selling price is twenty. <clears throat> if an item costs sixteen and is sold for twenty, what is the markup of that item? Four dollars. So see here it makes sense because an an item costs sixteen dollars. And it's sold for twenty. The markup is four dollars. So sorry about this. We're catching a lot of um, publisher errors in these PowerPoint presentations. When the markup is based on the cost, the cost is the base in the basic percentage formula. So you have P equals R times B. A retailer can buy a shirt from a wholesaler at ten dollars. The retailer can add five dollars to the cost, and then they sell it for fifteen dollars. Change the equation so that the rate of the markup is equal to the markup to markup divided by the cost. So here we have cost ten dollars plus the markup equals selling price of fifteen. Uh, so the rate of the cost is uh, is one hundred percent ten dollars for them. Then we can calculate, um, since we have this information, the rate of the markup and then the rate of the selling price. And here we have M equals the, the percent of M uh, times C cost. So what do we know? We know that the rate of the cost is equal to 100. We know that the markup and, and C and, and uh, the cost of values. So what are we looking for? The rate of the markup and the rate of the selling price. So here we set up our solution plan. The rate of the markup equals the markup divided by the cost. So then now we carry out the operation. Add rate of the markup to the cost to find the rate of the selling price. Does it make sense? A shirt that costs $10 and sells for 15 has a markup rate of 50%. 5 divided by 10 is equal to 0.5 or 50%. Rate of markup based on cost is equal to 50%. A lot of times, though, we're not going to know the cost um, on the menu, you know, on, on the wholesaler side. We just know that, you know, they have their selling price. But they're always going to make money. If Duke's Photography pays $9 for a 5 by 7 photograph, Duke's Duke's another error. Duke's photography pays nine dollars for five by seven photograph. If the photograph is sold for fifteen dollars, what's the percent of the markup based on the cost? Sixty-six point seven. Lily buys tea from England for four dollars a box, and sells it in the U.S. for twelve dollars a box. Find the percent of the markup based on cost. Two hundred percent. So then, um, this is a good example um, here, like, she buys the tea for $4, so we know that $4 equals 100%. So if she sold it for $8, then the markup would be 100%, but she sells it for $12, the markup is 200%, which is not the same as profit. 
so that's something that I want you all to keep in mind that this is not this markup is not the same as 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 profit in in um, in many cases. A boutique pays five dollars a pair for handmade earrings and sells them at fifty percent markup based on cost. Find the selling price of the earrings. So you have the cost of five dollars. Rate of the cost always one hundred percent. Markup, we're trying to figure that out. We know the rate is 50%, and the selling price, we're trying to figure, figure that out, we know that it's 150%. <laughs> the rate of the selling price is found by adding the rate of the cost, 100, to the rate of the markup. The selling price equals the rate of the selling price based on cost times cost. What is the selling price of a CD which costs the retailer $8 and is marked up 60% based on cost? I'm going to give you a second to figure that out. $12.80. What is the selling price for a set of hairbrushes that cost the salon $12 and is marked up 150% based on cost? So remember, if if the cost is this, um, they add another twelve to it. That's a one hundred percent markup, and then half of twelve is six. One hundred plus fifty is going to give us one hundred and fifty percent. So thirty. A DVD movie is marked up $6.50, which represents a 40% markup based on cost. What is the cost of the DVD? So here we have the given information. <clears throat> cost we're trying to figure out, we know it's 100%. The markup is $6.50, 40%. And we're trying to figure out the selling price, which is... Um, 140%. Cost equals the markup divided by the rate, the, the markup rate. So the cost equals $6.50 from here, markup, divided by 40% equals $6.50, which we know um, from the problem, over 0.4, which is 40%, basically. Um, the cost equals then uh, $16.25. Find the cost of a box of ballpoint pens which has been marked up $4 and has a markup rate of 30%. We're trying to find the cost to, the, to, to them. And that's $13.33. As another example, find the cost of a pair of shoes that has been marked up $25 and has a markup rate of 50%. $50. A camera sells for $20. The markup rate is 50% of the cost. Find the cost of the camera and the make and the markup. So um, something that will help maybe to not get uh, tangled between the verbiage is just to remember that, that the cost is the cost of the of the retailer, not the cost to you, okay? And selling price is what you pay. So then, it, as long as you can keep that in mind, that this is um, that this is not a cost for you, that this is a cost of the 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 wholesaler or the retailer, and then you pay the selling price, All right? Camera sells for twenty bucks. The markup, the rate is fifty percent of the cost. Find the cost of the camera and the markup. We're trying to find out the cost and the markup. We know the selling price is 20%, which is 150%. Cost equals the selling price divided over the rate of selling based on cost. So the cost is $20 over 150%. So then the cost is um, $13.33. Find the cost and markup of a bicycle tire, which sells for $18 and is marked up 50% of the cost. $12 and $6.
find a cost and markup. I don't know if I like that as an example. Find the cost and markup. Oh, the cost. You the cost is is that, and then the markup is that. Find the cost and markup of a moisturizing cream which sells for thirty dollars and is marked up one hundred and fifty percent of the cost. So then the answer the the cost is twelve dollars, and then the the markup is eighteen. Section 9-2, learning outcomes. Find the cost markup selling price or percent of markup when the percent of markup is based on the selling price. Compare the markup based on cost with the markup based on the selling price. In the previous section, the markup based on cost, the rate of cost was always 100%. But in this section, the markup based on selling price, by the markup base is based on selling price, another typo. The rate of selling price is always 100%. So for instance, a calculator costs five dollars and sells for ten. Find the rate of the markup based on the selling price. So we know that the cost is five, the selling price is ten, so obviously the markup is five dollars. We know that because this is an easy problem. The markup amount is the difference between the selling price and the cost. Divide the markup by the selling price and get the difference and then multiply it by 100% to get the rate of the markup. <clears throat> Find the amount of markup and the percent of markup based on selling price for the following items. A dog collar which costs $4 and sells for 10 We know the markup is 6 A notebook which costs us um, $1.25 and sells for $2 we know has a markup of $0.75. Cents. Subtract the percent of markup from 100% to obtain the rate of cost. Divide the markup by the rate of markup based on selling price. So uh, find cost and selling price if a handbag is marked up $5 with a 20% markup rate based on selling price. So here we're trying to find the cost and the selling price. Okay, so then we do um, markup over rate of markup based on selling price. So then that's the $5 we get it from here. Um, the rate of the markup is 20%. So then if you're doing this on the calculator, well, you, sh you should be doing it on a calculator. It's always good practice um, to use a calculator. Um, and why not? You, um, it's an online environment, and you want to make sure that you can get the best grade that you can. 5 over 0.2. So then we we learn that the selling price is $25. So then the cost is 25 minus 5, which equals 20. So the cost is 20. With a markup of 5, selling price is 25. Find the selling price with the amount of markup based on selling price for the following items. A cell phone, which has been marked up $50 and with a markup rate of 33% based on the selling price. $150. A pair of socks which has been marked up $3 and with a markup rate of 60% based on the selling price. It's $5. Subtract the rate of markup from 100% to determine the rate of cost. So you have the selling price equals the cost divided by the rate of cost based on the selling price. Find the selling price and the markup for a pair of jeans which cost the retailer $28 and has a markup based on selling price of $30. So here we know we have the selling price which is the cost divided by the rate of cost based on the selling price. Um, selling price equals $28 which we get from the cost over 70% because we know that um, the, the rate of the selling price is 100 minus 30 is 70 percent so then on the calculator it would be 28 divided by 0.7 um, so then we get the selling price of forty dollars and then selling price we put it here and then you can determine the markup which is simply the selling price of the product minus the cost and then we can determine that the markup is twelve dollars It'd be very useful to have to create this chart when you're doing your homework assignments and your quiz also.
so you can visualize how you're going to solve the problem. Find the selling price with the amount of markup based on the selling price for the following items. A handheld calculator that cost the retailer $2 and is mark up, marked up 60%. Find the selling price. So then this is the selling price, 5 and then the markup, $3. A box of gourmet chocolates that costs $8 a box and is marked up 75%. $32 is the selling price, and $24 is the markup. Subtract the rate of markup from the rate of selling price to determine the rate of cost. The cost equals the rate of cost times the selling price. So um, here we know we have the selling price, for example, $3, the retail markup 25%, and then um, the, the, selling, the rate of the selling price is 100%. You first, you find the cost. So then 100% minus 25 equals 75. So we know that the cost here is going to be 75%. So then the cost equals $3 times 75% or a 0.75 which equals 225. So then that's the cost. And then the markup equals the selling price minus the cost which equals $3 minus 20, uh, 225 and uh, that is 75 cents and that's the amount of the markup. Find the markup based on the cost and the markup based on selling of a computer that costs 1500 and sells for 2000 So here we set up our table. We have the cost. We have the markup. And we have the selling price. Percent of markup based on cost is 33.3%. The percent of the markup based on selling price is 25%. What accounts for the difference? Converting a markup based on selling price to a markup based on cost. The markup rate on cost is equal to the markup rate based on selling price divided by 100% minus the markup rate on selling price. Converting a markup based on cost to a markup based on selling price. Markup rate based on selling price is equal to the markup rate based on cost divided by the markup rate based on cost plus 100%. Learning outcomes for section 9-3. Find the amount of markdown, the reduced new price, and the percent of markdown. Find the final selling price for a series of markups and markdowns. Find the selling price for a desired profit on perishable and seasonal goods. The markdown is found by subtracting the new price from the original price. The original selling price is always 100%. The markdown rate is found by dividing the markdown by the original price and multiplying that figure by 100%. So we have original selling price, 36, which is 100%, minus the markdown, new price, and then uh, we can determine the, the percentage. <laughs> Each new price becomes the base. For markups, based on cost, multiply the base by 1 plus the rate of the markup. So if it's going to be like, if it's a markup of 20%, for example, and it's, a, it's $10, you do $10 times 1.2. Okay, so that's what this means. Now, one, the, the rate of the markup is 20%, or you, you write it in decimal form, and then you also add 1 to that. For markdowns, multiply the base by the complement of the rate of the markdown. <clears throat> As an example, find the final price for an item that cost $18, was marked up by 20%, and then was marked down 33%, and was subsequently marked up 10%, and finally marked down by 50% for clearance. So here you're going up and down. And when you work that out, you get um, $7.91. Determine the cost by multiplying the unit price by the quantity. Determine the markup rate and, uh, uh, and amount and add to the cost. 
establish the expected selling amount and divide the total selling price by the expected to sell amount. Mr. Green buys 100 pounds of tomatoes at $15 a pound and establishes a markup rate of 120% based on cost. What is the total selling price? So here we have the selling price equals the cost um, times 100% times 15% equals 15 plus the markup, C or uh, which is the cost, or $15 times 120%, which equals 18, or total selling price equals $15 plus 18, which equals 33. So he expects to sell 90%. How many pounds is he expecting to sell? 100 pounds times 90%, or 0.9 equals the amount that he's expected to sell, or 90 pounds. Divide the the um, total the total selling price by the expected to sell number. So um, you got thirty three dollars divided by ninety equals the selling price, which is thirty seven cent uh, thirty seven cents a pound. And this concludes the uh, video lecture for at uh, chapter nine. Um, if you haven't done so, chapter nine actually does a very good job of of explaining um, how each problem is solved and 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 provides like a like a, a really good detailed account with with multiple real life examples uh, so um, if, if the presentation didn't give you sufficient um, you know details or you feel like it didn't help you enough the book and this particular chapter I really like because it does do a good job of going in depth um, nonetheless, if you have any questions about Chapter 9, as always, uh, please feel free to contact me. Uh, keep the emails coming. Um, you know, it's, it's good to know that, that you have a question and that, you know, I'm able to, to clarify any doubts that you may have. So you can make sure to get a good grade on the homework and on the quizzes. Thanks and have a great day.